Soups and Socks continues to help those in need of everyday essentials in our community, but this year there was a bigger purpose behind the event, keeping a legacy alive after founder and our dear friend Chaitanya Clark passed away earlier this year. This morning I got to volunteer with the event and Dylan Jimenez was there to see the smiles of those getting a warm meal. For the past four years, Soups and Socks has been providing food and travel bags for homeless. But this year, the group is missing one person, Shatanya Clark. This is literally started as me and Shatanya wanted to make this a birthday, do something for our birthday. Of course, we always take, 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 receive on our birthdays. You know what I mean? That's the normal thing to do on your birthday. It's your day. But one thing we always got to do for our birthdays is that, you know, we got to try to give back. Give back with bowls of soup, grilled cheese, and basic necessities, a cause that meant so much to Shatanya. Very different not having Shatanya. We miss her a great deal, but her heart is here, is here. You know, we can, all the giving that she gave when she was here with us has kind of uh, transferred into all of our hearts. KFDX crew, friends, and family showed up to volunteer. In a recent city council meeting, Mayor Steven Santiana proclaimed December 10th as Soups and Socks Day. For someone to carry on our legacy, for KFDX to, to get all the partners in here and, and you know reaching out to mayors and reaching out to other people and, and being able to serve, it just it means a lot. That proclamation to me, when they asked if I could read that, I said absolutely, because I know today, very, very special day um, for all of her partners they've worked with her. To have your own day is mind blowing. You know what I mean? I mean, I wish I could have a Coop D day or, you know, we don't even have a KFDX day. We don't even have a Wish Talk Falls day, but we have a Soups and Socks day. That's big enough for me. That's I'm sure she would be proud of that. With blankets, socks, soap, mouthwash, Brandon says 100 bags were filled with extra necessities left over. This wouldn't have been happening if it was just me and the team. Shout out to the community for coming through and like blessing us with all of this stuff. You know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do. When someone bless you, you're supposed to bless somebody else. Blessing those in the community one bowl and one pair of socks at a time. Dylan Jimenez, KFDX 3 News. I know Shatanya was just so, so proud to see all that community support there. Now, Brandon says the goal is to continue growing and hopes to have the event more than once a year.